Hello and welcome to a new video about barcodes. This time we are talking about a so-called interleaved code. Interleaved 2 of 5. We had already code 39, yeah, 3 of 9. This worked with 9 stripes yeah, or 9 elements and 3 of them were brought. 2 of 5, 5 elements and 2 of them are brought. Okay. However, it's written a little bit different. Yeah? So usually we write it code i2 slash 5. Yeah? Maybe this i is, is not there. Uh, 2 of 5 yeah? interleaved. How is this code built? Well, as meanwhile, we should know Usually there's a start sign and here is also a stop sign and the start sign is simply small line, small gap, small line, start sign, okay? And in the end there is the stop sign which is broad line, small gap, small line, start sign, stop sign. Yeah. Start, stop. In between, we have the coding. And each code element, as the name says, says, consists of five elements, two abroad, Three are thin. Okay, that's the rule. So there is simply for different signs, uh, different combinations of those things are defined. I will again make a little sheet uh, for you to download to see. And well, that's the rule. The alphabet consists only of letter uh, digits, only digits from zero to nine. So there are no letters, only digits. And now we're coming to this interleaved. Okay, interleaved. What does it mean? Yeah. Well, the first digit, the combination of the first digit, I don't know, broad, broad, thin, 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 or whatever. Yeah. Is this even a thing? Yeah, this would be a three. Uh, is the first digit is done in bars. And the second digit, is done in gaps between the bars. Gaps. So this means a combination of bars and gaps are already two numbers. So we have five bars, two of them are broad, and in between we have five gaps, two of them are broad, and in the bars, the first digit is, in the in the gaps, the second digit is coded. Just only, so only two, only two thickness of the bars, broad and small. Okay, like in code three of nine. So those coding is interleaved yeah? with. One combination of bars and, and gaps, I do have already two digits. This means this code has a pretty high density, coding density. Yeah? However, I can only code digits and I can only code them in pairs. Yeah? So there is not, I cannot code one digit, I can code two. That's actually how this is working. Code two of five. 
There is an issue, there is an issue that we might scan it. You know, here is then the data area. I will also draw it. This one. In between we have the data area with the patterns. And the issue is, if we scan it not in this in correct order, but a little bit like this, yeah, we might end up in the situation where we read at the end a stop sign and make a false reading. Yeah. This is an issue in this code. Yeah. So I read something because the length is not specified. Well, it can be any length, so the stop sign could could be any any time and if I'm leaving this this data area at the correct point in time it might end up in a reading error because I simply spare the other ones and I think I have read the stop sign everything is okay. Yeah? So there is a chance of reading error sometimes or <sighs> you can prevent this by placing a black bar above and below yeah? which is simply thick enough, thicker than a usual pattern, then we cannot read a stop sign, because then we would read thick, thin, thick. Okay? This is simply not possible. So, if you see a, a barcode which has these black bars, above and below, there's a pretty good chance this is this interleaf 205. This is simply to prevent read uh, issues. Code interleaf 205. Next barcode. Next time we're going to talk about the European article number. This you know for sure, because this is on almost every consumer product which you can find in the supermarket, there is this European article number printed on. How this is working? A little bit more complex than this? We see. Will be explained next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.